You've probably heard a lot lately about barefoot or natural running. Uh, and it actually makes a lot of sense from a biomechanics standpoint. The idea is that you're born running naturally, kids run up on their toes, uh, and adults should run up on their forefoot as well. Uh, biomechanically speaking, it makes sense because uh, when you land on your forefoot, you land with your knee bent. So all the shock absorption happens in your muscles, not your joints. When you land on your heel, all that shock is taken up by the, the joints in your knees and ankles and hips. So the cartilage is doing the cushioning, not your muscles. If you look at the human foot, it's actually a lot more flexible than you might first imagine. When you look at the bones inside the foot, uh, there's a lot of different joints and angles that a lot of people aren't familiar with. Uh, and when your foot moves naturally, it doesn't just flex in the forefoot, it flexes throughout the foot. So the idea of a, a natural running or barefoot shoe is to allow your foot to flex naturally everywhere it's supposed to move. So when you look at natural running, it all seems very, very good. It's biomechanically correct. We're seeing less joint injuries out there as well. But the problem with it is natural running makes sense in the natural world. When you get into the man-made world where things are made of concrete uh, and things like that, uh, you need something with a little more protection. So our solution is to build in that natural flexibility and natural motion that your foot needs, yet protect it when it gets on those hard surfaces. So our solution's a little different. We want to keep everything that's great about barefoot running. When you land on that forefoot, it's biomechanically more efficient, and you see lower injury rates in joints. Uh, but we want to take that and improve it, namely by adding protection. Uh, there's two problems with barefoot running. One is landing on the forefoot on hard man-made surfaces, such as concrete, uh, tends to induce stress fractures. We want to protect that. So we're taking your foot and raising it up off the ground and protecting it throughout the foot with 76 sensors, each designed to serve a specific purpose under your foot. Uh, back in the heel, the sensors are joined together. Uh, that's going to give you heel impact. One of the other issues with barefoot running is when you're running downhill, you can't land on your forefoot. So you're gonna need that heel protection, and this builds that in. On the lateral side of the back of the shoe, we build those posts a little square to give you support and stability. Up in the forefoot, we link those pods together. These nine pods right here are what's giving you that impact protection up in the forefoot. All combined, it gives you the feel and motion of natural running, but with protection. That's the difference in real flex. We continued the idea of natural running into the upper of the shoe as well. And to do that, we took out everything that wasn't necessary to the upper of the shoe. Uh, so when you look at the upper of the real flex shoe, you'll notice there's no lining or padding inside. Uh, what's outside the shoe is inside the shoe as well. Uh, so the upper is very flexible and allows your foot to move just as naturally as the bottom does. So the advantages of barefoot running make a lot of sense. We wanted to keep what made sense and make it even better. Real flex is natural movement perfected.